So uh, this freezer here was having some issues with the drain backing up and basically the water spilling out of the drain pan and dripping down this perforated panel right down onto the bottom of the freezer. Now the reason being, if I flip this open, this here is a wire, um, but it's actually a heater. So this goes down the drain, it goes right down the drain line. And the reason it failed is because we have a couple of pinched off areas where the heat shrink is there, but this one here actually got pinched to the point where the wire exposed and shorted out. So we lost the heater, the ice in the drain built up, it clogged, the water overflowed, backed up, and that's why it was dripping down into the freezer itself. So we have a new one, it's under warranty, manufacturer sent the new one out, and I kind of like how they've um, put these these wires, they, they put these wires in these little connectors. They're actually kind of cool. Um, you just flip, you flip it down like that. And once you flip it down, the wires, the wires pops right out. It's kind of hard to do with one hand though. So if, if you pop it down a little, it, it pops out, but if you want it to be straight open, you flip this little orange tab down and you can pull the wire out very, very easily. So we're going to put this drain heater in and we're going to test it out. So boys and girls, how's your day going so far? I'm not a fan of these tight spaces. I'm not a fan of little stuff. I like the bigger stuff where we can get our hands in a bit better, but we're making do here. We are definitely making do. So there's these little cool um, connectors. We just push the wire in. Get it in there all the way. We close the orange tab down and then we try to yank that out and it's real tight. So these are really cool connectors. I've never seen these before, but I like them. I think they'd be better than marettes or wire nuts as you guys, some of you guys call them. Both are brand names. The real term or the correct term is twist on wire connector, that's the generic term for that. Anyway, we got those in. Um, let's put this back together and try to test this drain heater out. So I'm gonna put this thing back together with this um, with this new screwdriver here. It's uh, the new Klein 8-in-1 HVAC nut driver. What, what's pretty cool is it turns into a 5 16 goes from, goes from uh, 1 quarter to 5 16 just by moving this up and down. So there's there's one quarter nut driver and there's five sixteenths nut driver and the magnet is actually pretty strong on this thing. The magnet's pretty strong there, right? And then we also have a three-eighths nut driver when we spin this 
spin that around. And then it comes with, we have a uh, flathead there. We've got a Phillips that shoves in there. We have a smaller flathead for smaller control stuff. You guys that work on controls know these little flatheads come in really handy. And then we got a, a core removal tool and that just slides in there. And then we put it all back together. So that's the Klein 8 and 1. I'm going to use this to put this thing back together because I have both quarter inch screws and I also have Phillips as well. So we're going to use this thing. Uh, True Tech Tools sent this out to me um, to try out and this is going in my bag. I love it. I have some other stuff to give away. I'm going to use a, uh, a Klein meter to check the operation of this heater once it's all installed and I'll show you guys that as well and I'll be giving that climb meter away to you guys so stay tuned to the video all right so everything's back together I have the drain heater pulled right now because once our evaporator gets down to a low enough temperature we're going to throw it into defrost and make sure this is getting first warm to the touch or hot to the touch and we're going to try to get an amp draw reading off of it. It might be difficult because it's going to draw a very, very low amperage. We're going to try our best. Um, hot to the touch will tell me that it's working. And the other thing that you need to remember here is this heater needs to get past this tubing into the back of the cabinet. Because if it's only sitting halfway up, we could have ice forming and that's going to cause our drain to clog and back up. So we got to get this right into the back of that cabinet. So let's wait for this evaporator to, um, to get nice and cold. We'll throw it into a manual defrost and we'll, we'll check this out. So we're waiting for this freezer evap to get down to temp. I'm going to show you the Klein CL450HVAC digital clamp meter. It's got some nice weight to it. The clamp opens up at the top. Uh, one thing that I've, I've noticed that I haven't seen from a meter that I've used before is so we have type K thermocouples and we can put two of them on there and it actually comes with, with two right there so if we want to use that we can put the slider over to the left that opens up those ports and it closes the uh, lead ports on the bottom so you can't stick your leads in at the same time as you're using the type K thermocouples now this meter has most of the functions that a regular meter has um, voltage, AC, DC, amperage. We have the capacitance and resistance, temperature, microamps. We have frequency, and an added feature of this meter, which I like, is the low Z. This is the for checking low impedance circuits to check for uh, the presence of ghost voltage. Uh, ghost voltage is a pretty interesting subject if you guys want to learn more about that uh, There's a lot of articles online about ghost voltage and how to use the low Z setting on your meter So the leads that it comes with here So you can see that one tip is short and one tip is long well You can make it either or with this cap here so I took the cap off just to show you. So putting your uh, your meter leads sometimes when they're long together, they can short out. This has happened to me many times. Um, so if you have that issue or you think you're gonna have that issue, you put these caps on and it shortens up your leads um, so they don't short together while you're checking some stuff. Now this meter was also sent out to me by True Tech Tools and uh, I will be giving this meter away don't know how yet but stay tuned look for it on Instagram Facebook I haven't decided where I'm gonna give it away yet but it will be coming soon all right so we've put a manual defrost on this thing and I can feel this wire starting to warm up it's a lot warmer than my hand and like I've talked about before the palm of your hand should be about 93 degrees Fahrenheit 
as long as you're not sick, you're a healthy person. Well, that's a lot warmer than my hand. If I were to guess, I would say this is about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's take an amp draw. Let's separate those wires a bit. Let's take an amp draw. So 0 0.03 amps. I knew it was going to be low. I was afraid we might have to wrap it around the meter a couple of times, but we'll make sure we went back to zero. So yeah, we're getting 0.3 amps out of this. It's about 115 degrees Fahrenheit, um, so it's working. So let's hope this uh, continues to, to work and keeps this drain nice and warm so we don't get ice clogging in there and, and backing up into the pan. Well, that's the repair, guys. That's the tools, um, the Klein 8 and one and the Klein CL450. True Tech Tools sent those out. And guys, if you want to save on those tools or others, use promo code KNOWITALL at truetechtools.com at checkout to save 8% off your purchase. You guys have an awesome day. Happy HVACing.